Hello, hello, coming to you from beautiful, sunny Southern California. And I would like to share with you uh, a story about a client that I have been working with for some time and some of the, the amazing results that she is having from learning to be who she is, where he, she is, from learning to stay with herself and be who she is in the world. When this client came to me, uh, she was really struggling. Uh, so much anxiety, so much overwhelm, feeling really reactive in her relationships, also feeling a lot of blame and shame and, and resentment and all the things. And she, not just with other people, but with herself as well. Uh, all that, you know, that self-judgment that we have and really wanting to show up differently for herself and with her kids and, and be a cycle breaker in her family for her kids and with her life. So I took her through, through my signature process, which is something that is my signature process because it's a process that I've been through in my life. That's why I'm a coach. That's why I'm here. That's why I do this work. So the way that we started out together was really just pouring love and affirmation onto her, right? Reminding her that she's valuable and worthy of love. Like how, when was the last time you had someone tell, telling you that, reminding you that you are enough and good enough exactly as you are, right? And really starting from that foundation of even if you don't quite believe it, at least getting it into your mind, hearing it from somebody else. <laughs> I see you, Kim. Yes, exactly, right? And once we're in that space, then we can actually start taking inventory. So we started taking inventory of, of what was going on internally and externally and mapping that out. What is feeling chaotic in your external world? What's happening in your internal world? And how are these things tied together? So kind of picking those top three things and, and even just, just one of them, like let's take care of this external thing and how that's tied to the internal thing and really make this a practical, a practical process that we can work through together. And as you start to, to work with, with what's happening inside of you and how that's, how that's manifesting outside of you, even if it's like manifesting as, um, you know, getting moldy vegetables in the back of your refrigerator on a regular basis. Like, let's deal with that. What's happening inside of you <laughs> that this make this causing this to happen outside of you as well. Um, and, and going through all of that. And it, it became like life changing just to deal with things on that investigative uh, level and then to make these small changes. And so once some of this clutter, this internal and external clutter was cleaned up, we started to be able to dig deeper into uh, some of the deeper stuff she, that was going on with, with her family and within herself and how she was still so tied to, to needing approval and looking outside of herself for who she should be and all the self judgment and all the things that sort of created these internal and external chaotic states and the fear that has kept her stuck and not living a life of joy and not using her voice and not being who she is, where she is and staying with herself, which is really deep and powerful work. And I think that it's often really scary for us to go to those places, but um, she's been going to them beautifully and it's been an enormous honor and a gift for me to be able to share with her um, in really practical ways how this is possible to practice boundaries to say no to realize it's about like progress not perfection to to look within to respond without and then to make little tweaks and adjustments so that she could show up for herself for her children within her family within her life as herself right using her voice and and with those practices in place, beginning to see her open up to her own creativity, her own self-expression, being more at ease, enjoying her family more, not feeling as resentful because she's taking responsibility for how she's showing up and not trying to change everyone around her, but recognizing that she always has a choice. So that's really, really simple, right? <laughs> I mean, I could go into all kinds of details, but to see her now, uh, just, not everything is perfect. There's still things within that process, you know, going down to number two on the clutter list or whatever. Uh, but seeing her smile more, enjoy her kids more, laughing more, uh, feeling more at ease in herself, feeling a sense of just reprieve in her life is, is beautiful. So if that's something that, that you've been feeling, just some of that anxiety, that overwhelm, the judgment, the self-talk, the not knowing where to begin, but knowing that you want to show up fully as yourself in your life and knowing you haven't been doing that, that is exactly what I'm here for. I have 
two more spots left in my coaching program this year. So if you are interested in walking this path with me, reach out. I'm here for you. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful work. And if you're feeling called to it, you don't have to do it alone. Just want you to know. <laughs> I'm Jessica Amos. I'm the founder of Stay With Yourself, which is the practice of being who you are, where you are, a life transformation coach, meditation and mindfulness teacher. You can find me in all the places. In the meantime, may you stay with yourself today and always.